Welcome to the Wiki Kitchen. Today we're gonna make a simple vegan chicken and pasta dish. It smells so freaking good. I love that smell. Let's add this broccoli. That is nice. This is a nice family meal. Oh, it just smells good. This is a one pot meal. I love making one pot meals for the family, especially it makes dinner so much faster than dirtying up the kitchen really. So, um, so I'm gonna start off with sauteing up some onions and garlic with a little bit of tomato. All right, so I'm just gonna cut up a little bit of onion and garlic here. So I'm just cutting it in half after the ends and you're peeling the outer layer off. So many people struggle with onions. Then I'm gonna go ahead and julienne this up. I like pieces in here, so, but you know, the, the pasta is very small, but I'm gonna have the chicken strips that I'm gonna cut up. But I like having the onions in a nice julienne as well, so. It is so important to do your mise en place ahead of time, you know, prep in advance. Mise en place literally means trans, it's translated to setting in place. So it's basically getting everything ready to go before I fire up my pan. So I'm just slicing garlic really thin here. Now I'm gonna add some cherry tomatoes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and half these. And in the meantime, make sure my pan is heating up. Get a medium to high heat. I don't want to go completely high heat because I don't want too much color on the onions. I'm using cherry tomatoes. So typically if I'm going to use like a, um, if I'm doing any kind of like a, a pasta dish with a butter sauce, because we're going to be using this, uh, this uh, plant-based butter, uh, usually I'll use like a white wine, but because I serve this to my kids all the time, I like to use the acidity from tomatoes as you would uh, with some wine. So the acidity and sweetness of cherry tomatoes is great to use in substitution for a white wine. So. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this is nice and hot. Yep, that's ready. Add some olive oil in there. Add the onions, let's get some color in these first. A little bit of color, not too much. Just gonna get that going with that saute for a little bit. So a lot of people think that you also add onions and garlic at the same time. I don't like to do that unless it's at a low heat and I'm just doing some caramelization. If I'm doing more of a high heat, I don't add them at the same time because garlic burns really quick. So I wanna make sure that I add them. I add the garlic when the onions are pretty translucent and almost cooked through. Uh, that way there's less tendency of burning. All right, so I'm gonna add the garlic in there. Onions are a little translucent, as you can see, just adding a little bit of garlic there. And I, again, I don't want them to burn. I just want it, the heat to really bring out that, those aromatics and cut the sort of astringent properties that a raw garlic would have. So these tomatoes are going in and the sweetness from these tomatoes is gonna be so nice. Let's get that going. What I like to do when I add tomatoes though, I like to season as I go, you know, um, especially in these early stages. Uh, when I'm using cherry tomatoes, it brings out a lot more liquid in the tomatoes much faster. And that's what I'm looking for to deglaze a pan, pull up all those sugars from the onions and garlic, you know. So I cook that and it just smells so freaking good. I love that smell. All right, so I have these, this plant-based chicken here. You can use mushrooms in here. You can use tofu in here, which is great. Any kind of firm tofu would work really well. I like to just add these small pieces here. Chicken, this tofu chicken plant protein here. So you're gonna be able to find lots of different brands wherever you are in the world. There's more and more companies that are stepping up. It's such a massive growing industry as plant proteins. The whole 80-20 push that we do with Wicked Healthy is, you know, focus on 80% of the time eating as healthy as possible, whole fruits, vegetables. And then that 20%, you know, gives you a little bit of leeway to really work with any, you know, other ingredients that may be a little processed or higher in, higher in fats and salt, sodium and all that, so. I'm gonna go ahead and add this plant chicken in here. You wanna make sure that you're kinda, you're letting it sit for a moment, let it crisp up a little bit. All right, so I have some baby broccoli. So depending on the size of the pasta that you're using, we'll really, you know, determine how big of pieces of your vegetables are. You know, you don't want them to really dwarf the pasta, but. Nice to be similar 
in size and kind of mix up the textures in there. Check this out. That smells so good. Let's add this broccoli. That is nice. Okay, so as that pan gets nice and hot, I'm gonna go ahead and now deglaze with the number of items. This is a vegetable stock I'm gonna go ahead and add. It's gonna deglaze the pan a little bit. We're gonna bring this up to a simmer. If I have a lid, let's see if I have a lid. You know, once that comes up to a simmer, we'll take the lid off. We're just basically speeding up the cooking process. That was quick. Let's go ahead and season that. And I'm gonna add a little bit of citrus, a little lemon. When you add lemon to dishes, especially like a butter sauce, it's quite nice, really brightens up the dish quite a bit. All right, let's stir this up, see how this is going. Smells good. All right, so next thing, I have a plant-based butter here. I'm gonna go ahead and add plenty. It is a butter sauce, so don't cringe how much butter I'm putting in here. That's what makes it so freaking good. So this is a nice pasta. This is already cooked ahead of time. You wanna cook it until it is quite al dente. So it has still a little bite because I'm gonna add it to the, this mixture and it's still gonna cook in the pan a little bit, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and add that to the pan. I lowered the heat now. This is a nice family meal. Lots of flavor going on in here. Let's go ahead and stir that up. And we're gonna let that simmer with all those other ingredients. So let's go ahead and add some black pepper. Love fresh pepper. And I like to add a little bit of this vegan parm, which is really nice. Again, add some nice body to the sauce. Oh, it just smells good. All right. So we have a couple herbs here. I have some basil and some parsley. I have coarsely chopped them, but there I have a lot of herbs, probably more herbs than you would think. And it just gives it a really nice burst of freshness. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir that up. That is almost ready to go. You can see that the sauce has thickened up quite a bit from the starches that are in that pasta. And you can just put it on low if you make this ahead of time. The family's out running around, waiting for them to get back. And there you have a very simple one pot meal. Great for the family. Thanks for joining us, you guys. So it was my first thing that I ever cooked, actually was sauteed onions and butter. Uh, I think it was in third grade or something, which is crazy to think about now. I pulled up my little stool, turned on the, <laughs> turned on the stove, added my nava butter to the pan, and just cooked up some onions and garlic and poured it in a bowl, shut up the stove, washed the pan and sat in front of cartoons and ate a bowl of onions and garlic. So my mom basically came home and it smelled like onions and garlic and she was definitely pissed. So we'll ask her about that maybe when we call her sometime.